Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial, we're going to be going over preset number 31, Contrast Crush, under the Stylized Color category in your My Mixology folder. So we're going to give you guys some ideas on when to use this effect, exactly what it does, uh, give you guys some comparisons, and then of course we'll show you at the end how to create this effect using your preset system. Now once again, hopefully you guys have already updated to 1.1, and this is already included with that update. Uh, and so you don't need to save it out the edit very end, but we'll show you guys how to save it just so you guys know when you guys are creating your own presets. Now I'm going to click Contrast Crush and I'm going to tell you guys to kind of walk you through exactly what this does. This preset is kind of based on this uh, look that's becoming very popular which is a very high contrast crushed black look where basically all your blacks are pulled down, uh, detail is kind of lost in those really deep blacks, overall contrast is really high and this isn't necessarily a look for everybody, but this is a very highly stylized look and that's why we have it in the stylized color section. So let's apply this and I'll show you guys kind of what images this looks good on. So let's see the before and after on this one first of all. And uh, in, in my opinion this kind of works really well for images that uh, they have a lot of color to begin with uh, and you want to really just punch it up quite a bit and it doesn't really matter too much if you lose detail in those dark shadowy areas. So let's scroll to some other images and check it out. Uh, another image I think would work really well on is this image of our couple here in front of the train. Um, we're going to select contrast crush and, uh, and it does a really nice job of kind of just pulling down all those blacks bringing the attention to our subjects and all we would do from here is just dial in a white balance or add color toning to it. So I'm just going to warm it up a bit and uh, we'll call it good right there. So let's check out that before and the after. You can see where we get the term contrast crush from because it really crushes the heck out of the blacks and the contrast and everything. Now I wouldn't so much apply this effect to images where you kind of want to keep skin tones on the softer side. Like for example this model shot here that we've used in a, a few different tutorials. If we select contrast crush you're going to notice that we get too much vibrance, too much detail, kind of too much everything in this shot. Now if you guys like this look then by all means go for it but it's it's one of those looks that I think is just too harsh for this type of, of situation. Um, so I wouldn't use it in this kind of situation. I'm going to reset that out. Now one of the things I love contrast crushes for is for reflection shots like through windows as well as shots that have flare in them, so where your contrast is basically being washed out. So check this out. We have an image here that's shot through a window. We have a nice reflection, and the contrast and, and kind of colors are all washed a bit. So when we apply the contrast crush, we get a really nice overall effect of the image. And all I do from here is maybe darken it up a bit with our base, uh, and maybe dial in just a uh, warmer white balance or add in some color toning to it. But that looks great right there, and we got there in just a few clicks with that contrast crush setting. So let's check out the before, and here is the after on that one. All right, let's go to another one. I'll give you guys another example. Let's see, here's an example of a flare, and I'm going to apply to this, and you'll see that it'll work really nicely in at least getting us to a starting point. Let's hit contrast crush, and you can see how it does a nice job of pulling down all of the blacks and everything, and then all we got to do from here basically is dial in the correct uh, exposure and we're basically done with it. So I'm going to hit the before, after. By the way, we're hitting backslash, back, not backslash, backslash to check out the before and after here. All right, let's go on to another one. Let's see, again, here's another image that has a flare in it. So it would work really well in pulling down uh, our blacks and kind of adding contrast to the image. And from here, we're just going to dial in, uh, you know, white balance and whatever we want. But I think it's actually pretty dang good right there. What I might do to this image is add a tiny bit of brightening and then maybe even pull down blacks a tiny bit more by just going down here and go to blacks and going to say heavy darken. All right. Again, this is another great kind of uh, image for contrast crush because it has a lot of color to begin with and it could use that extra contrast. We don't, it's not a super close up portrait, so we're not going to be too worried about like facial detail being too much enhanced and stuff like that. And then all we're going to do from here is just dial in our exposure. And that's basically it. Once again, this is a very stylized look, so if it doesn't match your style, then don't force it. But uh, let's go through and see if there's any others I want to show you guys. Let's see here. Oh, this will probably be a great example right here. So this is an example of something that we would actually use the contrast crush in, in our portfolio ourselves. Because this is an image when I shot it, I wanted to have a very high contrast look to it. Um, so what we're going to do is go to contrast crush, select it. From here we're just going to dial in uh, an exposure. I'm going to pull it down by a half stop. And then I'm just going to warm it up a titch. 
So we'll take it up to say 5200-ish, or 5100 is good. And check this out. So here's the before, here's the after. We got there all of five or 10 seconds to dial in those adjustments. You can see how big of an effect it makes. And for this image, it looks gorgeous because we're not too worried about you know at the, the shirt back here falling to black. And even in the majority of the shot, if we look at the uh, black detail by hitting J, you can see that we've crushed a little bit of the black detail, but not that much of it. We don't want to pull it down to the point where we lose all detail, particularly in hair. Um, when you lose all detail in the hair, it looks really bad when it prints because it goes to full black and it kind of looks like it blends in the background. It's, it's just not a good look. So anyway guys, that's how you would apply this in kind of the different situations we'd use this effect in. Let's find an image where we actually want to uh, create this effect now. Let's use this image. I often see this, uh, you know, Contrast Crush is becoming so popular and it's kind of made popular by, uh, I feel like, Ben Chrisman. He kind of has, his style of production is very much that kind of warm, crushed look. Uh, so let's apply it to this image and see what we get. Uh, we're going to show you guys how to do it. So of course, when you guys first start, we're going to start with the standard import preset. All right, now the first thing we're going to do is open up our base adjustments. We're going to go down to, I think base tones are fine where it's at. We go down to detail and do a light boost on detail. Contrast, we're going to leave where it's at because we're actually going to get our contrast with our blacks and with a tone curve. So we can leave contrast where it's at. I'm going to do a medium darken for our blacks just to pull down the blacks a bit. We're going to revisit saturation in a second because we're going to apply a tone curve that's going to affect saturation. We're going to do our final saturation adjustment at the very end. Next, we're going to do a light vignette for our vignetting just to kind of pull in the uh, edges a little bit. That's kind of an optional setting whether you guys want to use that or not. I feel like for the contrast crushes, it works pretty well. So let's go down now to our neutral curves and we're going to do an ivory neutral punch. And last thing we're going to do is we're going to go back up to our saturation and we're going to apply Let's do a saturate effect. Again, we want these to be really punchy, really kind of over the top uh, images. So that's it for that. Uh, what you're going to do now is just save it to your My Mixology folder. Once again, we'd hit check all, unselect white balance, length profile corrections, transform, and chromatic aberration. Select your My Mixology and then give it a name, whatever you choose. Now, of course, 1.1 users, this is already included and it's contrast crush. So if we select this now, we shouldn't see any change and we don't. We got it dialed in. And for your image from here on out, basically all you're going to do is dial in your white balance and your exposure to taste. So once again, these kind of images work really well with this very warm kind of look to it. And so I might just warm up the tint a little bit, or uh, red it up, magenta it up. Is that a word? I just made a new word. Magenta it up a little bit. All right. All right, guys, so this is that high contrast, crushed black look. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. To see all the before and afters, be sure to visit our Facebook page. and our photo album, we'll have all of our before and afters posted there. All right, guys, see you with the next video.